it came out of nowhere. Michigan's native elk population disappeared around 1875 due to poaching and loss of habitat. Today's elk herd dates back to 1918 when seven western animals were released near Wolverine. From that reintroduction, the number of animals grew steadily to about 1,500 elk in the early 1960s. They reached a point where limited hunting was possible in 1964, but in the late 1960s, several factors kept the elk herd below its potential for population growth due to reduced habitat quality and once again, poaching. By the winter of 1975, there were only about 200 elk left in Michigan. Soon after this, public interest in the elk herd grew and was spurred by exploration of the Pigeon River area. Reduced poaching losses, habitat improvement, and successful management resulted in an increase in elk numbers to 850 by 1984. To keep the herd in balance with its natural food supplies and the needs of landowners, elk hunting resumed in 1984. The last elk survey in 2014 estimated the herd to be at 668, which is within the population goal of 500 to 900. There's a fine balance the DNR is trying to keep here. We want this beautiful species to thrive in Michigan, but it's also crucial to keep the herd under control because of food availability and the destruction they can cause to properties. Very few tags are given out each year, and each year we seek out those who have a tag and want the hunt of a lifetime. We're going to jump right into the action. My dad has a cow hunter with him, and they're going in for the kill. Okay, you're clean. Yep. Okay, go ahead. And just like that, they had the first elk of the season down. We had a great time out here. Had a lot of cows out here. And uh, this is a management project here for for taking out the cows. It's very important because if you don't, as you, you saw on the camera this morning, there was 25 here. I wouldn't take long to get to 50, 100 in no time at all. So uh, this would be great eating. It's a great management tool and Bob was very successful. Got it done right away. So now he can buy his breakfast. That's the key. We can do that. <laughs> Thank you a lot. <laughs> Good job, Bob. Here in Northern Michigan, big cow down. What a great way to start out the season. Don't go anywhere when we return, my dad takes out his next hunter. This segment brought to you by Marathon, fueling the American spirit.
Okay, folks, it's the uh, the night before the first uh, season, or the actually the middle season, but the night before the first day. And uh, Brian Anderson, he called me here when he got drawn for a once in a lifetime tag, and and uh, he got me right away. He was the first one in, and uh, so tonight we're just out scouting. We've got a nice bowl down here bugling. Um, we'll show you some footage of it, and uh, we'll let you enjoy that. But. Uh, what do you think, Brian? You ready for tomorrow? Uh, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Um, Kevin just called and he called back and uh, there he goes. Sounds good. I'm, I'm thrilled. Can't wait. Yeah. We're, we should be able to make it happen in the morning. It's all about camera light. It's a uh, 80 degree days right now, which is abnormal. And that slows down their movement a little bit. So it's going to be early light and last light at night so we will see how things go here tonight but we will see you in the morning and uh, hopefully we'll have a big bull down the next morning they went out to find a bull and before they knew it they were done okay we just pulled in here to check a camera this is one of my great spots didn't think anything broad son the, the animals were bedded right next to us here we heard all the crashing Come over here, Brian. Yeah, yeah. We heard all the crashing. Yeah, I was trying to catch up with Kevin, and uh... and all of a sudden I see this big bull coming out of here with all these cows. I mean, there's a giant herd right here, um, and they're they're just moving off now. And this beautiful bull comes out. I mean, he's got to be seven by seven. He's got all kinds of junk going on on the top. I had to get the cameraman who was on the phone <laughs> out here. We're all checking our cameras. How yeah. exciting! And all of a sudden, you know, now look at show them how many cows we still got out here. Well, here we are with Brian Anderson from Clarkson, Michigan. He was a once-in-a-lifetime bull applicant, yes. and uh, he got it, and he just shot a beautiful 7x7 seven seven here in northern Michigan. Um, it happened quick. Mm -hmm. I wish we would have been able to get more footage for you folks, but uh, that happened sometimes. We got up here to check a camera. Yes, we were checking a camera. <laughs> and and uh, he was uh, relieving his bladder and uh, heard a little noise, and... All heck broke out. All heck broke. The whole herd stands <laughs> up and uh, he ran down to the uh, field and Kevin Cow called him, stopped him, and uh, blew it. It was, uh, it was unbelievable. A, shocking. It was awesome. Was yes, what it was. What a great bull. Stay tuned to see more Michigan elk hunting here on Big Boys TV. This segment brought to you by Whitetail Institute. Research equals results. Well, folks, we're out here with Kevin Garlinghouse, and he's from uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And uh, it's the first night I've been able to hunt with him. We killed a beautiful uh, 7x7 this morning with uh, Brian Anderson, and now Kevin's up now. And uh, he can't be too bad of a guy because he's got a great first name. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a nice bowl here that we've been watching, this 7x7 in this spot that I filmed the other night. Um, and uh, we almost were on them today. We went on up to a different area and shot that 7x7. So um, fortunate for Kevin, this big 7x7, I think, is probably the one he's going to try to take home. So That sounds good. That's right. We'll make it happen, either tonight or tomorrow. Well, my dad wasn't lucky enough to get two 7x7s in one day. But the next morning, they headed out to the field. And lucky enough, that bull was back. He was over 350 yards away, and the hunter just wasn't quite comfortable with that shot, so all they had to do is wait for him to come into range.
Well, we got Kevin out here first thing this morning and had that 7x7 come out and uh, he's got a bullet in it, looks like, and so we let him um, uh, go settle in the woods for a little bit and uh, now we're going to go look for some blood and, and uh, see if we can find the critter. Um, he's a beautiful bull here in northern Michigan and uh, we're excited about it and uh, we just got to now go find him. We like him when he drops in the field, but uh, we got a couple bullets in him before he uh, got into the corn. So um, hopefully he's just laying down here in the hardwoods, just barely in there. Let's go check. He did a great job. It ran down and died in the middle of a cornfield. Uh, that was a little bit more work. Thankful for a neighbor that had a tractor to help us out. And uh, we have a big bull down here in Northern Michigan. It is a seven by seven. It's what we look for. We want the biggest once in a lifetime bulls that we can to get for these hunters. And Kevin did a great job. Boy, that's a dandy. You did a great job, pal. So far, my dad is 100%, but he still has two more hunters. So let's see if he can get it done. We are going out scouting because tomorrow is the opening day of the last early elk season. And uh, the great thing about it is, is that we're hunting in uh, the Wolverine area. And it is the same place that almost 100 years ago that the elk were introduced to back into Michigan from when they were wiped out years ago. So uh, I didn't realize that till this other day and I thought that was kind of, kind of cool that we're right back where they were planted at 100 years ago and about six months from now, that's what it'll be. So now we're gonna go out scout, see if we can't uh, be ready for morning. They're already bugling, we can hear them. So let's go check it out. Scouting is huge when it comes to guiding elk in Michigan. My dad was glad that he went out tonight because he found the next bull on his hit list. A dandy, right? The next morning, my dad took out his hunters to see if they could get on him. It's uh, opening morning of the third season, and John has been with us since day one. The cow hunter now, Chuck, just came along, and uh, because I've got some good bulls in here, and so we're gonna try to go and uh, capture um, them bugling, and then uh, get on a bull, and then uh, hopefully there's cows with them for John. But um, we've had rain. It's kind of warmish and not clear skies. It's not ideal for bugling. So we'll just have to see what happens back here. Hopefully they're just in the food plot feeding. I don't hear anything. So we'll just wander back there right at shooting light. After a couple calls, they had a bull coming right to them. Nobody move because he's trying to find us. Stay tuned to see what happens next. Hunter Safety System introduces the Limit Shield, the first ever scent control harness. When we left, my dad had his last bull hunter and they had a six by six coming right to them. Let's see what happens. Nobody move because he's trying to find us. Don't tell your mother I passed this off. She's gonna kick you in the ass. I'll see ya. Well, we called in that six by six that I've been seeing out here that kind of just moved into the area. The problem is he doesn't have any cows with him, and we know we have um, a seven by seven out here. And when he came in by himself, I looked him over. His whale tails are 
I mean, it's a six by six, but um, I think we can do better. So as difficult as it is to keep Chuck from shooting, um, <laughs> I think it's the right choice. It's hard to pass up. I don't know. Hopefully I'm not kicking myself it's in the too butt. too late now. <laughs> That night they went back out and they had that same 6x6 six six come to about 60 yards, but my dad talked Chuck into passing on him again. We got uh, two and a half days left to count tonight, and uh, if he gives uh, Chuck too many opportunities, I'm not going to be able to hold him off anymore. <laughs> the next morning, they headed back to that same field, and luckily enough, that 7x7 seven seven they had been looking for was there. Chuck's first shot misses, but luckily that bull comes back to his cows and Chuck gets another opportunity. He stopped right there. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Right in that little gap. That was a good hit. Now they also had a cow hunter with them, so this was the perfect opportunity to have him shoot one of these cows. Take it. Well, we got a bowl down right here. We're just gonna go up here on it and see what he looks like. Oh, he's not broken. I just couldn't see it right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks for waiting, man. Oh, jeez. Thanks for waiting. Yeah. I made him wait for that 6x6. Six six. You guys saw that the last few nights and the days. And he's like, what in the heck am I doing here? Yeah. And I'm like, just trust me. Just trust me on this, man. Because we'll make it happen. And there he is right there. We haven't even touched him yet. And that's why I wanted to wait, because I want to touch this bull. Oh. Woo! Baby. Holy Baby. Sh Holy <laughs> Wow. Are you glad I made you wait now? I am extremely glad. Wow. Put that head forward. Like Check that guy see. out. Yeah. He's a beauty. What do we oh. got here? One, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven. We did it again. Wow. <laughs> seven, <by> seven. <laughs> what Woo. a beauty. Woo. 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 Look at the freaking mass on him. Oh. Wow. What a morning, what a morning. Stuck with it, Kevin was right, did the right thing. Got the nice pull down, fantastic. Great hunt. Wonderful. Time to be out and about and enjoying the world. It was my last day. <laughs> Tomorrow's the official end of the season, but today right. was my last day. It was day, your so. last day, because he actually works for a living too. So, I mean, he, we gotta get him back to work to the emergency room so he can save people. So, but in the meantime, I don't think he's gonna be able to save the cow that he just shot, so let's go look at it. What a great bull and cow, and a perfect way to end the season. Thanks for watching and make sure and tune in next week and stay up to date with everything we do on Facebook, Instagram, and at bigboystv.com. On his good side and put him priority in the room. <laughs> and So they just had to wait. Had to? Mm -hmm. a, a dandy, right? How good he does. I forgot how that was supposed to go. Let's see if he can get it done.